All right, Coach, while we're waiting on the players, you just start off uh, general thoughts on the game and the words questions. Well, first, I want to uh, congratulate uh, Tennessee Tech on an outstanding season. Coach Roseman um, is is a friend in the business and has done a tremendous job of building that program. And they had a lot of graduate seniors that, um, that were really good and really hard to play against for the last five years. And, you know, we played against the same faces for five years. And, and those players uh, really put a lot into building that program. And I, I just have a lot of respect for her and, and for the tech players. I know they're, they're hurting right now, but man, they had a great season. And I thought they did a great job overcoming some adversity of their own throughout the year. Um, but, you know, as a, as a coach here of, of Belmont, I can't be more proud of a group of young ladies than I am right now with the ups and the downs of the season. This was a grinding, tough, difficult season. You know, we, we really, challenge these players in our non-conference and you know we got knocked down more than we knocked other people down but we kept getting up and we kept fighting and we kept competing and I think this group uh, just has an unbelievable resiliency and toughness and when they got to, got to the end of the season they started playing their best basketball and that's what competitors do that's what winners do and that's what championship programs do and you know our team today proved that they're a championship program all right question Coach Bart, can you talk about how important your bench players and the defense was, especially in the fourth quarter of this game? Uh, our bench, uh, I think our, our team's uh, chemistry, our team's um, dynamic shifted dramatically uh, about three weeks ago when we started getting more consistent production from our bench. And those players are really talented. And I thought Nikki Baird, Blair Schoenwald, Tessa Miller, and, and Kyla McGuff, all four of those guys gave us huge lift off the bench and, and made some big plays, whether it was making shots, getting rebounds, being in the right place, um, setting a good screen. I mean, those guys were, were really good for us tonight and they have been for the last couple of weeks. So, um, and throughout the whole year, really. Uh, so that, that was huge. And, you know, I think as, as our team gets into the, into the game and, and having the ability to play nine and, and have a lot of people contribute uh, that, that helps us with freshness in the fourth quarter to be able to compete and play like we did. Destiny World, obviously, named her MVP. Just talk to me about how lucky you are to have her on the team. I mean, she's a phenomenal player. We've talked about that multiple times this year. I mean, another great performance today. She's a phenomenal player who's a great teammate and a great person. And I don't think the player part works in our program if she's first not a great teammate. And uh, I think her teammates love playing with her. And that's a really, really cool thing to see as a coach, to have someone as, as talented as Destiny, uh, who everyone loves playing with her. And she's easy to play with. And uh, she's easy to root for because she's such a good kid and a good teammate. And she's special with the ball in her hands. And, um, you know, so much of what she does, you know, everything everything in basketball, the beauty of basketball, it's a team game. Everything in basketball is, is that there's a team dynamic and the beauty of what she's able to do is if, if it's her turn to facilitate, she can, she had multiple 10 assist games this year, you know, and, and when it's her turn to score, like tonight, how they were defending us, you know, she, she scored and it's really, it's nice to have her on my team. That's for sure. Huge, um, you know, the, the talent of our roster, you know, we'd see it in practice. I mean, we'd play, we'd play against each other and it was hard to tell who the first group was at times early in the year. And, and, and then in games, we just wouldn't see that same level of production and consistency from some of those guys off the bench, but uh, unbelievable, unbelievable young ladies in that group who, stayed the course it would have been really easy to pout and give up. And, you know, I didn't play this game and, you know, maybe I'm not ready the next time, but to their credit, they stayed ready and stayed the course and stayed focused. And it's just the quality of character with those young ladies up the bench. And, you know, our team, uh, we really did get a lot better, you know, when, when we started to get contributions from the bench and, um, you know, it, it's why we're where we are right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> pretty, pretty special. Um, 
you know, 29 points. I mean, that, that was, I'd have been happy with that at halftime if we'd have held them to 29, uh, because that meant, you know, we probably had a chance to be in the game. Um, but really, really competitive people on our, on our roster. Um, not the biggest people. You know, we gave up way too many offensive rebounds, but those offensive rebounds didn't turn into points. I think they only got three second chance points. Um, and that means we just had the toughness to stay in the play and, and to grind it out and to, to you know, pick at it and get the ball on the floor. We're closer to the floor when it got to the floor. So we got to some of those floor rebounds. And we, we just did what we could do. And, uh, you know, we told them before the game, but, you know, it's not always going to make sense, but get it done. However, we got to get it done, get it done. And they did. What are you looking most forward to moving along into the postseason? Rest, <laughs> go home, sleep, not scout, watch basketball as a fan, watch the crash and burn of other people and not stress about it. Um, that's what I'm looking forward to most right now. But I tell you what, um, I told our team in the locker room, we, we played a, an NCAA tournament caliber non-conference schedule uh, in the, in, early in the season, but we did not play that schedule with this team because we're, we're a different team now than we were then. And I can't wait. I can't wait to get to compete against. I hope it's a big guy. I hope it's someone that they will be. It's going to be someone really good. And I can't wait to go compete against them. All right, we're going to bring the uh, players in. Then. Thank you, guys. Right, Wipe off my water stained chair. I wonder how that happened. It's very uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> My first time doing it. Been been I've been I'd like to start first with uh, Destiny. Uh, Destiny, how are you feeling? An amazing game, amazing season. You won MVP. How are you feeling that feel? Uh, I feel great. Um, we worked so hard for this all season, and just to see it pay off with these. Great group of girls, <laughs> amazing teammates. It's, it feels amazing. This one for you. I mean, I don't know how many charges you took tonight, but just a level of intensity on the defensive end. What what goes through your mind, and how do you energize the team throughout games like this? I mean, is there championship game high stakes? You just get bringing and bringing and bringing. Well, defense wins championships, and we all know that. And honestly, I can't take the charges unless they make those girls, you know, drive into the paint. And so um, they do all the work on the outside, and I'm just waiting for it, honestly. And I've just been doing that since a young age in high school. Uh, so it's like second nature to me. But um, it's just incredible to be on the floor playing defense with these girls, just especially when we have that just fire energy and just making them turn it over and we're, you know, stealing it from them, like, causing bad shots, like anything. It's a, it's a great feeling to be out there. Uh, yeah. uh, Conley and Jay, uh, this was your senior season. Um, how does it feel to win the OVC championship for your senior season? Um, we can <laughs> bounce off each other. We can bounce off each other. Uh, well, honestly, it just gets better and better every year. I just can't imagine like, you know, the first year I got it, I thought that was like the best it could feel. And then the next year was better and better and better. And I think it's just something we've gotten used to um, <laughs> being here. Um, like she said, it's just that sweet feeling. It just keeps getting better every single year. And we can truly say this year and the past year, probably probably the two most special ones that we've had since we've been here. Excuse me, I'll ask it you, but you guys are good bouncing off each other. So <laughs> jump in if you want. Bart just said that you guys are playing your best basketball at the right time. You just won a championship game by going on a 34-7 run. Well, it ended up being 34-7. 34-7. I mean, can you play any better? Like, is that the epitome of peaking at the right time? No, um, I think that we can always get better. You know, I think one of the reasons that we've gotten better over the past couple of months is our team camaraderie. I think we've gotten a lot closer over the past few weeks and past few months. And I think that's played a huge role, but we definitely got some getting better to do, so. Anybody else? One thing, I guess, is we'll go down the line. Each of you are one thing that you take away from this championship heading into it now NCAA, but. 
Um, for me, I, I'm just hungry for more. Uh, I'm super excited to see what this team can do moving forward. Uh, like you said, we're playing our best ball right now. And I think, you know, going into this tournament, it's the best we felt mentally, physically, and like we're ready, ready to rock and see what we can do into the tournament. Yeah, and I would say this team doesn't settle just for getting to the NCAA tournament. Um, that's not what Coach Bart preaches. He's, he, we're never going to settle just getting there. We want to win, and we want to win the next game and the next game and just show the nation that we belong in that tournament. Yeah, kind of going off what they said, uh, we just got to keep playing for each other, keep, keep playing together, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, like we said, we're <clears throat> playing our best basketball right now, and I feel like we can compete with anybody in the country, so I'm ready to prove it. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, Throw the mic off. Throw it off. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Thank, Thank you, you so much.